Yeah, yeah. Lady Justice in the house. Keeping the balances of justice level with the light of liberty shining bright. You're so silly. What? Yeah, yeah. Right. Starbucks coffee, great conversations, is the key to meaningful communication. Tiki will reason for asking you for your ID. We have to if be I under just arrest. Walk up to you, yeah, if I were just to walk up to you, like, I need to see your ID, and you're like, no, and walk off, I can't be about that. I have no reason. Right. Now, but if, you know, what if I was case, detained? Like, then yes, but that's only if Wait, there was. Wait, did you just say that, that I have to give you an ID if I'm detained? I can only detain you if there's probable cause to reasonable suspicion to believe that a crime just happened or was about to occur. So yes, but that's not enough to make an arrest. No, but I can detain you. And what does 3802 of the Texas Penal Code say? Well, to make sure that a crime didn't happen. But yeah, if I can say, hey, we just had somebody take off from a traffic accident that met your description. Oh, okay, that's not That's enough to detain me. Yeah. But that's not enough to force me to ID. Mm, Texas Penal no. Code 3802 says you have no, to be but, under lawful arrest but, and ask. But most, most people are more, you know, it's one Most of those, people will give it, yes. It's like, hey, and with me, I mean, all officers are different. But I mean, if I explain to you, hey, this is why I'm ID, this is what's going on. You know, okay, it's not just give me your ID because I said so. You know, that you don't do that. That's good. We're not in line. Yeah, I that's not, you know what I mean? If it's like, hey, you know, we just had a a robbery and they said that there was, you know, a guy in a hat and a beard that took off. Oh my god, I definitely wouldn't give you my ID if you said that. Come on now, see, no, I mean, I'd, I'd that's say, how hey, it all starts. Okay, we're going we're gonna to make sure this wasn't you, and then once we're done, okay, have a good day. Well, how does an ID make sure it wasn't me? Well, you, can, you don't have to give me, like, a physical ID. I mean, how does a name tell you it's not me? Name and date of birth. How does that help you in your investigation? Because it just pulls up and says, okay, this is so-and-so, I know who he is, he's not wanted for anything, and then... Say, okay, yeah, well, but the original point of the stop wasn't to see if I was wanted for anything. No. It was to see if I was the one that did whatever crime you're looking for. Yeah. Right? So, but I have to have a see, reason. I can't just say, well... Yeah, you said there was a description yeah, of that, robbery. That would be it. And, uh, but, see, you're looking to see if, if I match that description. But the name in my record doesn't help you in that investigation. No, no, no. That's so just, it's irrelevant. That's in case you actually did it. Now we know who you are. Hold up. Did you just hear what she did? That's in case you actually did it. Now we know who you are. Well, I mean, if you actually did it, but, like, I guess you could detain me. Yeah. And you could have the witness come and, and see, right, or give a further description. Yep. You know what I mean? And see, and you could detain me for as long as you needed to do that. And that would be it. Yeah, if I didn't give my now, ID. Now, if the witness said, that's not him, then I can't right. ID Right, right, right. We're done. At that point, it's done. It's over. With. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's the correct it's, answer. It's over, so. You'd be so surprised how hard it is to get the right answer. I get so many different answers, right, from so many different officers, you know, and that's scary, right? Because the law doesn't change from officer to officer. You know, reasonable suspicion, even. Detained. Yeah, reasonable and, suspicion, and gets, but, but then, then you have that probable cause for an arrest. You have to be real careful about detaining because there's a lot of times where when someone may not be lawfully detained, they still, if they still feel that they can't legally leave, technically that's a detention. Yeah, like you're technically detained right now because you don't feel like you want to be rude. No, no, no. I mean, that's no, an I example. No problem walking away from you. But that's an example, right? Somebody might not want to walk away from you because you're a police officer and that's just rude. They don't like want to be rude. Like, they're like, can I do that? Can I? Right? Yes. Like, I've heard lots of police officers say, you're not detained, but I'm talking to you. Right? See, that's kind of the same idea, right? I'm not saying people, you're detained, right. but... A lot of people go, well, does that mean I can or I can't? Right, right, right. Like, go. Yeah. And you literally just have to go. And it's one of those where yeah. it's like, hey, you're free to leave at any time, but... I mean, that's, you can stay and, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's one of those 
You're like, I'm good. Nope, bye. Yeah. Okay. Have a nice day. With me, I tell officers you can always stop and talk to me. Um, I like to uh, meet you before. I film on traffic stops and stuff, and, uh -huh. and I think conversations are the key. Right? Communication is really important. And, um, you know, some people, they don't want to talk to police officers, but I think it's a good idea. And um, any officer can always stop and talk to me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good luck like getting said, away. But that's a, that, at that point, that's a, that's a conversation. As yeah, it's consensual. As start invoking any type of authority over you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then that's completely different. That's completely different, um, right. Even